Nelson Mandela International Day or the Mandela Day is an annual international day in honor of Nelson Mandela celebrated each year on the 18th of July, Mandela's birthday. The day was officially declared by the United Nations in November 2009 with the first UN Mandela Day held on 18th July 2010. However, other groups began celebrating Mandela Day on 18 July 2009. Mandela Day is a global call to action that celebrates the idea that each individual has the power to transform the world, the ability to make an impact. That's um, Nelson Mandela, such a great man. Even in death, Absolutely. he's still That's what you, very much of, great. And it's sad that we lost um, his yeah. daughter yeah. a couple, I yeah. think last week or yeah. thereabout. Yeah. But irrespective, um, Nelson Mandela, like when I think of him, I just think of um, leadership transformation love yeah just, and i love that word yes i love that word love and forgiveness hmm. when mm -hmm. i think about mandela i think about love and forgiveness can you really go through that and still love people and forgive hmm. i mean that was an uh, the 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 full explanation of what true love means right. you know and the act of forgiveness many of us we've not even seen anything and you're carrying people inside mind <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like twenty-seven solid years. Yeah, wow. productive years. Ah, and your your prime, you know, because if you are jailed at old age, is fine. But your prime, where you're supposed to achieve a lot of things, somebody yeah. just takes that away from you. Would you be able to forgive that person? You know. So I For mean, no we, we need to learn. For no justifiable yes, course. we need to learn a lot it's from painful, him. Yeah. yeah, we need to learn a lot. So what did we find in the news today? We're having how many stories too? Okay, okay, so what's your story? Um, well, it's the NDDC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ha -ha -ha in the NDDC. I've been following that story. Yes, for me, it's a whole lot. What's to the take story in. now? What's the situation now? Okay, I think on Thursday, the act, the former acting um, managing director Joy Nune, mm. she testified before the um, committee of the House of Assembly, mm -hmm. House of Representatives, via Zoom, and you know what happened the day before some policemen from somewhere just invaded her her, 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 her residence and yeah. they were even yeah. attempting to bring down her gates mm -hmm. and you know what what i found a bit um overwhelming for me is that have we got into this stage in nigeria this is we are gradually going towards as a full-scale anarchy how can you just invade somebody's house in the morning where is the warrant of arrest they don't have it. Did they extend an invitation to her? Mm -hmm. No. Did she, is there anything criminal against her? No. They're still at that stage of, and you know what, this investigative panel, yeah, I don't even understand. Well, okay, so now the it. current report I that I read, it. you know, they're saying that um, Joy is accusing the minister Aquario, okay. that he hijacked the forensic audit I was of the there. NDDC. You know, this is a clear case of failure of public institutions. Mm -hmm. I think that at this level, for any government to sail through, for any sustainable, sustainable democracy, public institution is the cornerstone. Mm -hmm. Now, what a, an effective and efficient public institution should, should be on auto cruise. Nobody should be able to manipulate the system. Mm -hmm. How can a governor, oh sorry, a minister, is an allegation mm. anyway it's not confirmed but if that is true i want to know the essence what how how is it wrong do you understand and and i'll put the the whole thing at the doorstep of the president mm -hmm. whether he likes it or not the book stops on his table what how do they oversee all these commissions do you just put people there and you I don't was oversee even ask what's the supervision who is supposed level? to be in charge yes. of ndc you know, supervising the corruption and all of this. Because the allegations are just flying all over the place. I'm telling you, you know, sexual harassment, there corruption. There are too many allegations. And don't forget, you know that um, the about scholars, NDD scholars at, at the present, they're in the UK. Mm. They've been abandoned. No, they've not paid their fees, their welfare. I even heard it all over the radio. One of them called in into a particular program and talked about the kind of dehumanizing situations they are in at the moment. And this money has been appropriated for. So where is the money? These are people that you're supposed to, you, 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 you have advertised the scholarships for them and they took advantage of it. You now send them abroad and abandon them there, especially in this time of COVID. Mm. Okay, I, 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 the story is still unfolding because I understand that Joy has been summoned 
with the minister as well, the committee. Oh, to have a face-to-face. Yes, I saw yeah. that um, report in, in, the, in the news. The committee has summoned Joy, and they've summoned the minister to come to Abuja Monday. Face-to-face. You know, face-to-face, -face. Face -face, they should have a yeah. meeting. You know, because let us even see it unfold, um, so that we, we will know where... The, the allegations the, are just... <laughs> NDDC is a huge. I mean, there's a lot of money that is being pumped into that. Um, but that sector. yeah, that sector. Okay, yeah. And another problem I have with the NDDC is, NDDC is it is for the development of a particular section. Niger Delta, yeah. Of the region. Mm -hmm. So it means that Northeast. I think they also they also have theirs now. <laughs> Southwest too will stand up one day. They want to no, but because, you, so you cannot take, no, you can't the take away the importance of NDDC. I'm not disputing that, but to what? Nigeria because forget it, Niger Delta has oh, contributed uh, greatly. Yeah, it's, no, yeah, one of them. It's not yeah, about, from, it's not about no. being no, it's not about being one of them. I have been to some of the villages in Niger Delta. Um, you know, when you go there, argument. you would cry. No, so the, the the good thing about what all of these things that is happening for me is that. By the at the end of the day, I truly want to see a thorough investigation being made because the truth, even the impact of the funds that is being pumped, is not reaching the people. Even the president said it that so, there is no justification for the funds. But what I am saying is, what is the essence of having governments when you are still going to have another commission for development? <laughs> what is the essence of having governors? I think it's duplicating the roles. Okay, we are giving the governors a leeway. Mm. For as far as I'm concerned, they're supposed to develop their state. So why do you even have any commission dedicated to them? And that is not even working. Well, we will find out by the time they are done with the investigation. Are you sure <laughs> we are going to find <laughs> out? Wait, that wait, is wait, the wait. problem. Quickly, um, Sansi, I was going to talk about the just an update on um, mm. Sally, um, the young man that was killed, um, the when CEO I saw of Bukada. Your yeah, name well, came to mind. AK, AK <laughs> talked about it yesterday yeah, yeah. Um, uh, during What's in the News. And basically, what's his name? Fahim Saleh. Mm. It's, 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 it's really sad. sad. So really the interesting sad. thing is that mm. he used the money. So, um, uh, um, oh my goodness. Are you losing your thoughts? So I think I'm losing my <laughs> okay, let me, thoughts. Okay, let me quickly help It's overwhelming. You. So, so the, <laughs> the PA now, as the report, that's what is being shown. The PA mm. has, been he has been arrested. And they said they charged him with second degree murder but the thing is the challenge with this is people are saying that why would they charge him with second degree murder because this was premeditated, premeditated because some days yeah. before this day he had mm. they had seen him in a departmental store buying the saw. chemicals and the saw and all of that with a credit card you know so we are hoping that these um but but he's been taken so to it, the prison so, so, so it wasn't like um maybe a fight broke out no then. So this was premeditated. So that's what you know. When saying. you were when, before the show, when you were talking to me about it, I said I do not understand the judicial system. Mm. You, you, uh, in the you, US, you, yes, the jurisprudence in the US. But what I'm but, happy about yeah. is that it was quick. But we are going to Very ask um, our guests because when we what talk about are. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, I just imagine in Nigeria whether if something happens today, ah, within three over days, the weekend, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's all we can take. What's in the news? Shagwa Dubella. SAN will join us right after the break. Please stay with us.